Is it the Twitter killer app that we all think it is? Let's talk about it. With Threads finally being released to the public July 5th, with already 90 million plus users in such a short period of time, we're all sitting here wondering, is this really the Twitter killer app that we all really think it is? Not quite. Mark Zuckerberg said for the vision of this app, the vision for Threads is to create an option and friendly public space for conversation. We hope to take what Instagram does best and create a new experience around text, ideas, and discussion of what's on your mind, which is a really cool idea if you actually think about it. But that's actually what Zuckerberg is actually leaning towards for this app, which I don't understand even how Zuckerberg even has time to create a new app since he is working on his upcoming fight with Elon Musk. What the f***? But that's a whole different conversation for another time. Even with the new app experience and excitement, because we all know Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook were all getting boring, Threads is really lacking on a few key features that could make it actually, like, great. Which could actually make it the Twitter killer that we all think it is. As in, a proper search engine to help you search hashtags, people, key phrases, uh, keywords, all that stuff. It would make it a lot more easier to search through the app than just going to the search bar and just seeing a list of names. You can't search hashtags because there are no hashtags. And hashtags, that brings me to the second one. Where are the hashtags, Zuckerberg? Twitter was the reason we even have hashtags. Incorporate them over. It should have been in the demo of the app before they even got released to the public. Kind of annoying, but it doesn't have hashtag, which is... And the third thing, I personally would like a proper place for the likes, comments, reposts, replies, all that stuff. I, when you click the heart tab on the bottom right, it comes up with four extra tabs, and I just feel like it would be a lot more easier and cleaner for the app if it had separate ones for likes, replies, reposts, and comments that you like personally made, like your own comments, so like you can see the comments that you made. I would personally like that. One thing I don't think that we need in the little, when you click the heart button, I don't think we need a verified section because it just shows you the interactions you've had with verified individuals. I don't see that being really an important issue that we're looking for on a social media app. That's the three features I feel like they should add to the one thing personally for me that I feel like they should change up that I'm not even following. Even if someone doesn't repost their post, I can still see it and view it. I personally don't like that. I don't think other people like that. I've even seen it on Twitter as well, and it always annoyed me. But that could just be me, and they could have it fixed very soon. Since it's an Instagram app, you feel it should work just as Instagram, but it kind of doesn't. Make the app a little bit more friendly to people, because it is kind of like jumbled together a little bit. Just a little bit, not that much, but just a little bit. What? What the fuck? I've also had a problem with the app. It might just be because I'm on iOS 17, that I wasn't able to post photos or videos. But since the update that just came out today, um, July 13th, it actually fixed the problem. Because I have two phones, uh, I was able to do it on my other phone, which has iOS 16.4, I think. But on iOS 17, it wasn't actually allowing me to post photos or videos. But now since the update, I'm actually allowed, which is actually pretty good. Because I do want to start a new web series over there, right before they start monetizing on that app. Because I have yet to see ads or anything, so I want to get, I want to be early to the monetization or just going crazy on that app. And I'm not trying to make this an argument, but the algorithm is all over the place. You'll see a post from four days ago and a post from today, but seeing how it's an Instagram app and their algorithm is trash, I don't see it being fixed anytime soon. So I'm gonna just let that one push to the side and not even touch it right now. But if you annoy it, if you hate it, uh, leave a like and we'll join together. But what I do like is how really simple it was to actually sign up to the app. All I did was download the Threads app, connect my Instagram, and I was signed in. Everything from Instagram got ported straight over to the app. I haven't seen ads just yet on this app, but the more and more it gets popular, because it already has 90 million plus users in such a short period of time, I can see ads coming over and joining quickly as possible. So they could be on, they could jump on the bandwagon like quick like that, like how I'm trying to do. But seeing how it's a new app, it's a good way for new creators and content creators to get ahead of the game before everyone else does. Oh no, do I think this is a Twitter killer? Well, no. But it is an amazing Twitter competitor. P.S. I haven't been on Twitter, Facebook, or none of the other apps since this app dropped. So what does that tell you? It has a lot of the same features and functionalities, which work okay, but could be a lot better seeing how much they can really put into this app. And it works well, just not well enough to stop Twitter at the moment. I'm not sure where it's gonna be in the next couple years, but it could kill Twitter, but it also could, Twitter could also kill this app just straight off. But with a few couple changes, at least that I mentioned that they can make, I feel like it could be a very well Twitter competitor for the long run. And maybe, just maybe in a few short years, could give Elon a run for his money. But yeah, I'm just not sure at the moment of how this app's gonna run. So yeah, that's about all for today. Enjoyed the video? 
and stay tuned to the end. Leave a like and comment what you actually think about the Freds app and let me know your experience with it. But I'll catch you on the next one. Yeah.